I think the No Wrong Dial model offers a, you know, a more seamless approach to care planning, really. As, as things stand now, you've got a series of referrals to get access to you know, different specialist services, and the No Wrong Dial model gets, gets rid of that process. It also replicates, for those young people that are, that are in residential care, uh, what we have with, with uh, foster care now, which is staying put. So whilst it doesn't allow them to stay put in a residential home, which actually wouldn't meet most young people's needs post 18, it does allow young people to stay put and stay close um, in terms of a relationship. We've just long launched Young in Yorkshire, our new children and young people's plan, and one of the key priorities in that plan is to um, ensure that all young people have a right um, to um, a good family home. We also wanted to prevent some young people coming into care in the first place. Whilst our foster carers, our residential staff, do a remarkably good job, um, what we know is that ideally young people should be living with their families. If we can enhance the levels of support that we can provide on the edge of care, um, we believe we can make a real difference to life chances for those young people. Intensive support to avoid breakdown is so, so critical to ensuring the youngster doesn't need to move on unnecessarily. So I think that the whole range of different skill sets that come together all under one core offer is just absolutely fantastic and the, the opportunity for joint training for, thir for 13 to 25 year olds again brings together professionals all with one aim and that, that aim is to absolutely improve outcomes for the youngsters that, that we work with. So it was a big opportunity for us to set up a, an integrated package around a young person in their home area because we have young people who unexpectedly need to be accommodated as a result of offending behaviour or court outcomes and it's not infrequent at the moment that because of North Yorkshire's rural diversity that they might have to move 20 or 30 or 50 miles to do that. By providing a, a, a fully-fledged data analyst to research uh, and deep dive into some of that data, it gives us an opportunity to have a much richer picture uh, on those issues that are affecting young children and more importantly how to um, uh, build strategies together in order to prevent um, th those circumstances um, you know, repeating either for the individual or for, the, or for other young people. People have been moved from the, either the family homes or other foster placements that have broken down or from a residential unit. They tend to feel quite angry, they show extreme behaviours. That can weigh you down, whereas part of the no wrong door policy, all the professionals that you can draw on are going to help with that. They also can provide like a respite, so other, other people within the specialist hub could maybe take them for a few days or a week just to give you a bit of a break. Okay, there's going to be a range of key training, so we're going to make sure that um, all the staff who are working with this complex group of young people across the age range of 13 to 25, so all the way through to living independently, will be trained in, in uh, therapeutic crisis intervention um, alongside restorative practice. If young people do present to our Pathway 1 hubs, um, of which we've got seven across the county, one in each district, um, then we work very closely with those young people to get them back to family or other kinship. Um, and obviously where that's not safe or appropriate then we are working close with children's social care to make appropriate referrals. I think having a pool of professional workers with a variety of skills at whatever time in the, the young person's life it is that can respond in a timely, flexible approach whatever time of day or night is, is the, the real bonus for us. If we can keep and support young people in their own families in family settings locally, um, then we're more likely um, to reduce budget pressures and also at the same time uh, improve outcomes for those young people. For these young people they deserve our full commitment to their lives really and to really you know give them the support that a good parent would do to help them become confident individuals moving into adulthood that can go and achieve everything that they're capable of achieving.